guys, Angie Bells, my fairy treasures. Okay, you guys, we're doing a Dollar Tree haul. Woohoo! One of my favorite things to do with Dollar Tree hauls. Okay, let's announce really quick the winner of the last giveaway. Okay. So let me just show you. I added um I added one or two things. I added one thing onto it. So um before I just gave you I had given you the soft uh the soft pinks beauty intuitions soft pink palette. And you guys, I'm wearing that. So on my skin tone, this can happen. I just did a look for this. I just did a um I just did a a, a get ready with me to create a pretty spring look to create this look and I show how you, how I did it. So, check that out if you want to. I'm also going to give you the Moody Neutrals. Look at those. This is one of my favorite favorite favorite. Look how you guys know those are my colors that I'm obsessed with. Love those kind of colors. Ooh, I love this too, but I really love this one. So anyway, I'm giving you both cuz at first I was just giving you the soft, but now you're getting the soft and the Moody Neutrals. These are both Beauty Intuitions. Um, the pretty little The Essentials makeup bag. Or use it for whatever you want. Knitting, crocheting, art bag, whatever you want. And then the pretty, pretty... Um, and I use it as a powder brush. Because see how big it is? It's half uh, lavender and half white. Isn't that just so cool? And this is so big. That it's great for uh, as a powder brush. So, um, and the person who won, um, I had Alexa choose a number between however many there were, one and fifteen or one and twenty, something like that. Comments, whatever it was, and she chose the number eight. And at Joanne nine seven six six one, there we go. Congratulations! Woohoo! So, um. Joanne, I don't know if it's Joanne or if it's Joan. I think it's Joanne because Joan is J-O-A-N. So, uh, at Joanne9766, in the description box is a click clickable link to my Etsy shop. Go to my Etsy shop. In the right-hand corner, it'll say contacts. Hit contacts, and then you can leave me your address so I can get all this out to you. Okay? Congratulations, Joanne. <coughs> okay. Let's get started. I have these sitting right in front of me, so I will just start with these. These are the Delta Home Hand Soap. You guys, people have been hauling these for a while, but I, um, let me put my readers on. I use these, and my husband was like, that's some nice hand soap. Like, that's better than um, Bath and Body Works. I go, I know. So, um, I picked up two more of the, I picked up three at total of the cinnamon. I already had picked these up, but I picked up more. So, now we have a nice little stock in our, um, in our little stock area. Uh, this is uh, cinnamon and clove. The lit, the thing broke off of here, but it was the last cinnamon and clove. It was one of the last ones. They had two of them or three of them. And I this was the third one. And I just wanted to get it. Because I can just transfer another top from another one. So that's what I'll do. So, so this one is Delta Home Hand Soap Cinnamon and Clove. And this one is Delta Home Hand Soap Warm Vanilla. And I got three of these. So I got three and three. And I had picked up a couple more of each of them. So now we have a little stockpile of this. So this is like uh, Bath and Body Works um, caliber. But it's in my opinion, this makes your hands feel better than Bath and Body Works. For $1.25? Yeah. Oh, I looked this up. Okay, this was at uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. And because they don't sell it anymore, they don't have it priced. But now um, on Amazon and Etsy, or Amazon Etsy, Amazon and eBay, it's selling for like $10, $12. So get this in your life. This would make, if you, there's a third one too. There's a third fragrance. I think I have it. What a nice gift to give somebody three of these in a, in a pack. I didn't even think of that. I should have. That's a great gift. If I see more of these, because I don't want to go into my stockpile because we really like this. If I see more of these, I'm going to pick up sets of two or three and give these as um, gifts. I didn't even think of that until right now. Duh. Okay. Continuing on. Oh, I had one of these spill out when before when you when you get them, make sure that the, the the lids on tight. It's when people are probably smelling them, they're not they're smelling the fragrance, they're not, you know, screwing the lid back on. So um 
Oh, this is kind of a basic, but I love it. Um, this is uh, the almond milk. Um, from This is the almond milk, and it's plant-based beverage, unsweetened. Um, there's no sugar, only 30 calories per cup. I think it's per cup. Probably per cup, per three quarters of a cup. Let's see what it is for sure. One cup. That's what I thought. Because one cup is usually a serving size. Um, I can't drink regular milk. <laughs> Problems. So I drink this, and this sits on my stomach better than the name brand ones. And this is a name brand, I believe, this modern pantry. Better than the name brand ones that I've been buying at Winco. Way cheaper. The one at Winco now is $5 for a quart. If I buy two of these, this adds up to what that quart was. And for two fifty, dollars instead of spending 5 bucks, So... I keep these. I keep five or six on a hand, on hand at a time. It's also shelf stable. So, okay. And it makes it. It actually sits on my stomach even better than the one that I bought that was more expensive, the other name brand of that almond milk at Winco. So, I always say Winco because that's where I do my grocery shopping. Oh, I wanted to get these so bad. Um, I think I got two of these or one. I'm sure I probably got two. Uh, this is the Little Mermaid. Over 150 stickers. Love this. I, you guys, did you guys see the movie? The Little Black Mermaid. Did you guys see the movie? Oh, the movie was so good. Me and my husband both watched it together. I loved it. Look how gorgeous she is. I just love it. So, I like to decorate my planner. So, I want to do a planner spread with with. Um, with her. Isn't that fabulous? I love it. I think it's her and her sisters. Yeah, her sisters are in here too. So the stickers are her and her sisters. And then there's the foiled ones. So I just thought a planner spread with all of these would be fabulous. And I'm sure I probably got two of them. It might be somewhere else in the bag. Isn't that fabulous? I love it. And I have a Little Mermaid. I don't know if it's on my chair or not. I have a Little Mermaid um, tote bag, too, from Dollar Tree. Yeah, it's not in here. I don't know where I have it at. But I love this. I'm going to put this right over here so I can remember that I want to do a planner spread with that. Okay, in my planner. Okay, if you don't want to hear my little spiel, which will take about a minute, about uh, Himalayan sea salt, you can fast forward. Get this in your life, okay? Um, I buy it at Dollar Tree, but I also buy my pink Himalayan salt at, uh, at Winco. It's the same price. So you're paying $1.25 for a pound, and that's about the same price it is at my grocery store at Winco in the big tubs that you can just, you know, you put, you put it in the bag yourself. Um... This is by Good Thera. This salt does not... Okay. So, this is why you want to use pink Himalayan salt. For one, it's pink. No, I'm just kidding. Um, the reason you want to... I, I, I actually am a certified herbalist. Ooh. And um, I took a class that was called um, Change, your, change your, your Salt and Your Oil, Change Your Life. And about the salt, the reason you want to use Himalayan salt, the main reason is, is this. If you want to, um, if you have high blood pressure or you don't want to get high blood pressure, use pink Himalayan salt. White salt, iodized salt, any salt that's not, that's white, has been bleached out. The minerals have been taken out. And when the minerals are taken out, those minerals are sold to the drug companies. And the minerals, when they are taken out of the salt makes the minerals not in their proper proportions. So since the minerals are not in their proper proportions anymore, that's what gives you the high blood pressure. You can have as much Himalayan salt. You know how people say, I don't put very much salt. No, you can salt the hell out of your food, okay? If you use pink Himalayan salt or use black salt or red salt. Salt comes in all these different colors because the minerals are in their proper proportions and it will actually bring your blood pressure down. Now, you don't have to listen to me. You don't have to believe me. But I am 55 years old. My husband is 58. We do not take high blood pressure medicine, high cholesterol medicine, none of that. And I use as much salt as I want. Pink Himalayan salt. So, this stuff, and you're going to get so much minerals 
that you need in your body. This stuff is fabulous. Okay, so then that way, and you're not going to get bloated and all that other crap. It all comes from them taking out those minerals and leaving your salt without the proper proportion of minerals. So you don't have to worry about bloating. You don't have to worry about retaining water. You're going to get filled with minerals and you're going to lower your blood pressure and keep your blood pressure lowered. So anyway, like I said, you don't have to believe me. You can think I'm full of crap, but that's what I have to say on that subject. Okay. That's why I gave a forewarning. If you don't want to listen to my little spiel, you can see like, fast forward. Oh, I do have a little bag from Hobby Lobby. I'll do that at the end. And I'm just throwing it in because it was just some stuff that was on clearance sale, that 75% off clearance. But it was, um, it's not enough to do like a whole haul. Oh, I picked up six of these. I picked up six because I like to use the, okay, let me show you what they are first. Look at this big tote. I picked up six because a lot, you can't find these big ones very often. They don't have the big ones like this. This is huge. Also, look at this. They never, I've never seen them carry a baby pink. A light baby pink. Oh, I love light baby pink. I'm wearing light baby pink today. See my shirt? Um, there we go. Um, so that's why, and oh, there's a little pocket in the front too. And what I like to use these for is for, I like to use them as project bags for my knitting or my, for my knitting, because all my yarn can go in here, the pattern, everything. And I make big projects. I make ponchos. I make, um, ruanas. I make, uh, slouchy, uh, boho slouchy cardigans. So I always need a really big project bag. So these kind of bags are perfect. And a light baby pink, I was like, um, I'll take six of those. Plus, I want to have some a couple for giveaways. So, that's why I picked up so many of them. Ugh, light baby pink. I saw somebody haul this um, in one of their videos. It was probably Pamela from Pamela's World. Hey, Pamela. And um, I think it was Pamela from Pamela's World, I think. At any rate, I love these, and I had to get a bunch of them. Okay. Okay. Next. Um, these are the maxi pads and panty liners. I get them nowhere but Dollar Tree. This is the best deal going, you guys. If you pick up five or six packs, you got like 75 pads. That's the same and for probably like 20 bucks now at, at uh, Sam's Club. It would cost me like 20 bucks to buy 75 pads. Now it cost me, what, six, seven dollars? Okay, get these in your life. So I picked up five of these and five of these. These are the panty liners. Make sure you get the 40 on the panty liners. And then here's the maxi pads. You get 16. Yeah. So just, it's, it, they're great in my opinion. And oh, and this is, I always say this. If you need them to be, because you have a heavy day or you're, it's at night, you can take, here's your panties this way take two and put them and let them overlap right in the center so you have that little extra protection there and that'll give you a good um good protection if you have a heavy day or um if you have for nighttime okay i picked up two more of these because i found them they're just <coughs> there wasn't a bunch of them they were just sitting there so i picked up two more you know i'm giving this away to the winner today but i picked up two more love it so you know i picked up two more so we can have for giveaways and stuff so in fact you know what we'll put one here one for myself because i don't have a purple one for myself and we'll put one in the giveaway box okay next i picked up three of these i love these socks these are the diabetic socks i don't use them for diabetic socks i use them because they're nice and long and you can, okay, you remember in the 80s and 90s, like if you go to the gym or if you work out or whatever, you would scrunch your socks down with your high tops? That's what I still do, okay? Because I'm very 80s and 90s still. Look at the bow in my hair. Um, <laughs> and I also like to stack them. You know, like you used to wear like two pairs, like wear a pair of, put these on first, scrunch them, then put a pair of black socks over, scrunch them. So then you have like black and gray. That would look cool. Or you could have white and gray. 
scrunch. So, and they never used to have gray. They always had only black and white. Dollar Tree, get these in a light baby pink. I would be so excited. I used to wear socks like this and then you would scrunch them it with my pink Reeboks high top. <coughs> this is like an 80s, 85, 86, 87. I graduated in 87. <coughs> White socks, scrunch them down so they're nice and scrunched, but still, you know, up, but you know, scrunched looking with my pink Reebok high tops, little mini skirt. Oh my God, that was the look. And then instead of like the bow in my hair like I'm wearing right now, a pink bandana on the side. <coughs> I just aged the hell out of myself. Okay, moving on. What else we got here? Oh, I was so excited when I seen, I seen somebody haul these. And I was thinking, should I get more? But I don't really use beauty blenders for my foundation. I like to use a makeup brush. But this is so damn cute. I'm like, I have to have them. So these are makeup sponges. And the cone part is like the part where you hold on to. So I thought that could be really nice. So I picked up both. Aren't they cute? I love these. And I'm doing a lot of makeup videos right now. So I thought this would be really cute to do on my makeup videos. I don't mind using a beauty blender for my, for my foundation or anything else. I just really love my foundation brushes, but we're going to use these, so I'm excited. Okay. Let me just throw these over in my little makeup bucket over here. Okay. Um, let me see if I have this polish right here. This is a different shade of it. I thought I, okay. All right. I have always, okay, I didn't buy this one. This is the one I've had. I've always loved this as a real neutral shade, which is what I'm going to use next on my nails. Sorry about that one nail. I fixed it and just never polished it. I know. So, and I bought a bunch of these because I love this. This is the per for my skin tone, this is the perfect nude. This is the perfect nude for a lot of skin tones. Lighter or darker than my skin tone. Okay. And it's not the easiest to find like that perfect nude for darker skin tones, but this one is, but I think it also go for a lot of different skin tones. Okay. So then LA color, um, they don't, they're not carrying the LA color. They're carrying the CD. So I saw this one. So I just thought, you know what? They're, it's a little bit deeper than this one, but they're pretty much the same. Pretty much. It's a little bit different but it's still a real pretty color, real nude. So when you want that nude nail polish color, so this is CV. So I only got one because I want to see how I like it. If I really like it, I'll pick up like four or five. Because what, oh, and you know what? Don't be afraid if you have a nail polish, a nail polish color that you like, they won't dry up. As long as you just don't open them and you leave them closed, I looked this up. They say nail polish lasts forever. If it's never opened, you can open it in 20 years and it'll still be like a brand new bottle of nail polish. What ruins nail polish is the air that gets into it constantly. So I'm like, oh, that's why if you have a lot of nail polish and you don't use it every week, that it lasts so long because you're not opening it all the time. I'm like, oh, I didn't know. So, little info if you like the nude. Oh, this is another color I love. A pretty pink nail polish and this let me show you this one is this one that I like okay I don't know if this is oh yeah okay LA color nail polish is basically always the ones I buy whether I'm buying them at Dollar Tree or other places well Dollar Tree doesn't have isn't carrying at least mine aren't carrying the LA colors anymore Okay, this is the one, and they didn't carry this at, I I bought this at Walmart. Isn't that the, like the most pretty, just perfect little baby pink? I love this color. Gorgeous. So then I saw this soft pink. I love a soft pink. So that's the difference between these two. But similar, see? So that real pretty soft pink. Tell me if you guys would like that, like a, a neutral type of giveaway for nail polishes. Like, give away like two polishes like that. You want me to buy extras of these and put them in the giveaways. Oh my gosh. I almost dropped that nail polish on the ground. And I have tile floors. That would have that broken all over the floor. Okay. 
Oh, and I might have this color, but I kept seeing it because I love this color in the summer, especially, or even in the spring. <gasps> Look how vibrant it is. Isn't that gorgeous? I, I, I feel like I should have bought two, but I have so much nail polish. I have like, like everybody, I have the obscene amount of nail polish. <laughs> And I probably have a color like this. I'm going to look through my colors. So if I don't have a color like this, I'm going to buy two. Just because I know I will wear this a lot, especially in the summer. I love colors like this in the summer. A bright color like that in the summer. <gasps> or even spring. This is gorgeous. Okay. Then, oh, I got these. I bought two of these. These are just buttons. But they don't always have these. So when you see them, pick them up. I picked up two of them. And what I liked is these are all shades of browns and blacks and gray buttons, which I really need when I work on my um, my uh, art journal slash junk journal. Um, I put buttons on all kinds of things. So, got those. All right, let me take these off because, well, let me explain this first. All right, see the readers I have on right now? The readers, you know, the, everything, they've went up to $1.50. This is 1.50. I can wear 1.50 to 1.75. But look, this is a different shape. See how it's kind of a cat eye? And they're bigger. So, and they feel like they're better made. So, I just wanted to, I didn't buy, I would have bought maybe two or three, like three pairs of these. But I wanted to first test these out and start wearing these and see how long these last me. See if they're made any better than these ones are made. These will last me about three months before they break. So I want to see how long these are going to last. And I like how big, see how much bigger they are? And I like the cat eye on them. So there we go with those. All right, now I have a bunch of sunglasses here, which I'm excited. Check these out. I love the tone on these. I think these are gorgeous. Oh my God. I love these glasses. I love these so much that I'm probably gonna get another pair when I go back. If I find these again, which they had a bunch of them, I'm gonna get another pair of this. I love, and I love the color. I love the way they look. I love the way they feel. And I love the color of them. Look how pretty that color is. It's like a, a pink, but then kind of a mauve, I'd say it's a mauve color. Those are gorgeous and I love the way they fit. Yeah, I'll be going back and getting another pair of those. Okay, and then there's this one. I love the, the cool funky shape on this. Oh, these feel good too. These feel really good and I love the funky shape on them. Oh, I might grab another pair of this too. So when I go back, if they have more, I'm gonna grab another pair because these are cool. Look at the shape, how funky they are. See? I love a cool, funky pair of sunglasses. Just love it. And with Dollar Tree, you can just collect. And I have a collection. Me and Pamela from Pamela's World have a collection of the sunglasses. Um, okay, this mauve lipstick is everything and a bag of, bag of chips and it's L'Oreal. It sucks. I'm sorry to say, this, uh, it's horrible. And this was regularly 10 bucks. These are spoiled, I believe, is what the problem is. I smelled it and it smelled like chemicals. I was like, that smells disgusting. It smells just like chemicals. And I know that's not the way it was when, it's L'Oreal. It wasn't like that when it first was made, but it's spoiled probably. And I had bought six of these because it was this color and another color that were very, like this pretty nude color. I love a nude lip. I know I wear a pretty dark lip, but I also love nude lips like I'm wearing today. So I picked up five or six of them. I'm taking them back. I can't take this one back. But I just wanted to show you guys this. And they come in that plastic bag, that shiny plastic bag. That's how they come. Just so you know, so you can save yourself the money. These are horrible. I'm going to throw it in the garbage. The smell. I shouldn't even have put it on just from the damn smell. That smell was horrible. Oh, really quickly, why I gotta put this stuff back in the bag. Let me talk about something really quick. Um, the prices. My husband was, I, I think he was, I think it was on the news or he was reading about it on, 
online. I can't I can't I don't know how he found out. He did say that there was an announcement and I guess it was by Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree was saying for sure that the prices are going to be a dollar 50, which I think is lame as hell. Now I'm going to talk about that in just one second. And the uh you know like they had the $5 and unders, they're going to have all kind of prices. 5, 6, 7, 10. So it's going to be like all kinds of prices everywhere. Which is fine. I don't care about that aisle. Okay, because I don't have to shop that with those aisles. But going up to a dollar fifty, excuse me. Okay, a dollar twenty-five, I still didn't count my items. I just bought what I wanted, okay? Just like it was a dollar. I just act like it was a dollar still. Dollar fifty? No, I'm not gonna act like it's a dollar still. Because that's like Daiso's old prices. I'm a treat I'm a treat dollar tree like I treated Daiso, okay? I didn't go all the time because a dollar fifty is way more. Two items is three bucks. Instead of two items being two bucks, two items is three dollars. That's going to add up really quick. So what I'm going to do is I'll probably still go to Dollar Tree pretty much as much as I go, but I'm going to have a budget when I go. And that's how Dollar Tree you messed up because you should, you're making me think. When it was a dollar, even a dollar twenty-five, I wasn't thinking. But now a dollar fifty makes me think. So now I'm going to go with the budget and say I'm going to spend twenty bucks, thirty bucks, forty bucks, whatever I want to spend that day. And I'll look at my items, count them up. If it's not 30 or 40 bucks or whatever I want to spend, those items go back. And that's how I'm going to control myself at Dollar Tree because a dollar fifty is going to add up real quick. Every two items is three bucks. So that's my spiel on it. And I'm quite perturbed. You just raised the prices, Dollar Tree, uh, last year. You ain't got you don't need to rise, you don't need to raise them prices again. Make up for it in in, in um in quantity, because we're gonna shop like crazy. Now you're gonna have a bunch of us. We're okay. Most of us who like to shop Dollar Tree, we're kind of cheap. Okay, we like to save money. Hello, and now your prices. Now you're outpricing yourself to some stuff at Walmart and the grocery store. So I'll be looking at what I buy, and um, like I said, I'll go in. I'll say, okay, I want to spend twenty bucks today. Or I want to spend thirty or forty, whatever I want to spend, and I'll look at my what I have in my cart. And some stuff will go back if it's not in that price range that I want to spend. Because they'll have you spend an obscene amount of money up at Dollar Tree. I already spend too much money at Dollar Tree. So, I don't know. What do you have to say? Comment below. What do you have? To, what do you think about the whole, the whole thing? All right. Because <clears throat> some things at $1.50 are still going to be a good deal. Okay? But things that were on the, on, on the border that weren't that great of a deal... And now you're going to charge me $1.50? Uh, they won't be purchased there. So, like these soaps. $1.50, that's still a good deal. Because this soap was not $1.50. But there's things that, like, no, I'm not going to do it. Um, oh, let's take these tissues. These are just some Scotty tissues, which I love buying at the Dollar Tree. I loved it at a dollar. They're, now they're $1.25. $1.50, I can buy these for a dollar, I could under $1.50, like $1.25, the same price as right now, at my Winco. So I'm saying, Dollar Tree, you're messing up. Um, just some tissue paper for gifts and stuff. I'm yelling at Dollar Tree like Dollar Tree watches my videos. <clears throat> Alrighty. I could just hear him. Girl, we don't care what you think. You may not care what I think, but you're going to care what we think when we stop shopping so much there. Or when we spend less. Believe me, you'll care then. Like, I think they have a new CEO. Well, their new CEO don't know what the hell he's doing, in my opinion. He don't know what he's doing. You don't know your customers. Anyway, moving on. I picked these up. I like these to clean my toilet with. Um, I like them because I can just, I use one per week. I use this one for the whole week. At the end of the week, I throw it out. Because it's smaller up here, I can get up underneath the rim. I don't have this brush sitting there collecting disgustiness forever. I learned this from a lady of how to clean your toilet. And I can just scrub it, use it for a week, and throw it out. And so I always usually have four or five on hand. I have three here. The other one's already in my bathroom. This one I use to scrub my fruits and vegetables. So this is always left into the kitchen. So if you want a good fruits and vegetable wash, Use um, half water, half vinegar. You spray it, 
scrub your stuff, and then rinse it, and it totally disinfects your uh, fruits and vegetables. You can also, after you do that, you can put a sprayer on a bottle of peroxide and spray them with peroxide also, and then rinse them. So, and you don't taste any peroxide, you don't taste any vinegar, it all rinses off clean, and that cleans it up, and scrub them with your little scrub brush. So, it's a nice, it's a nice cheap way to make your own um, vegetable and fruit uh, wash. Um, talking about vegetable and fruit wash, these are the best spray bottles. So you can use one of these spray bottles for, for that. I like these spray bottles. These, okay, you know the big ones they have? It's a 50-50 chance if that sprayer ever works. These, most of the time, the sprayer works and they work for a long time. So I usually get these. So I needed a couple more sprayers. And they go quick. Everybody must know about these sprayers because um, I never find like a whole bunch anymore. I always find like a couple at a time. So... Because I would, I make my, my own solutions for a lot of things. Um, so I would have picked up five of these because I was out of sprayers. If I drop this one more time. I love pretzel rods. These are just a great little snack. Now we were talking about the salt. No, this is not pink Himalayan salt. So this is not the best salt. But overall, most, everything I salt my food with is pink Himalayan salt. So, if you have a little bit of salt that's not the pink Himalayan salt, you're fine. Because that's not, not what your base, that's not your base. That's not what you're doing mostly, right? Okay. So, but I love these. So, I got, and these are Schneider's, and these are the pretzel rods. And name brand, and they're good. Those with some hummus. I need to make myself some hummus. I really like that. That'll be good, having those pretzel sticks with the hummus. Yeah, I'm gonna make some. I'm gonna make some hummus today. When I get off of here, I'm making hummus. Okay. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I need, I usually save some stuff down so I can um so I can what? I'm not thinking for my thumbnail. Okay, last bag. I got a couple things here for my thumbnail. Okay, um, I got this sweet chili sauce. I love this type of stuff. This is expensive at the grocery store. There was a bottle, it's probably a big 32 ounce bottle, but they want like seven or eight dollars for it now. And I love this sweet chili sauce because if I make, I make my own uh, egg rolls and I fry them up in coconut oil. When you fry them up in coconut oil, it's a lot healthier. I'll go on that whole tangent another time. But I like to have a little sweet and sour sauce. And this is like a sweet and sour sauce, but with a little with hotness to it. So I bought two of them. Two of them, I'm only spending $2.50 instead of spending $7 or $8 at the grocery store. Um, I picked up, I always keep packing tape. I have an eBay business, so I always need this. This is a great deal. Even when they move up to $1.50, it'll still be a great deal. You're paying like $1.75, two bucks a per thing of tape at Walmart so and it's just a you get a little extra than that just like an inch a couple inches more so it's really worth it especially at the dollar 25 <sighs> I should go there and stock. now that I know the prices are going to go up I should go there and stock on this because I have to buy it I should go there and stock and just buy a ton or go online I'm gonna leave this out because I'm gonna go online and pick up a whole bunch so at least I have the old price for a long time okay um oh Last item. I thought this is so cool. It comes in a bag. I took it out of the bag. And it's they say it's a men's travel bag. This is a great travel bag for men or women. Look at it. And look how, how wide it is. Isn't that fabulous? Um, I My husband came home. I have some soap in here. He went on a little business trip and gave me his soap. So, anyway. Look at that. So, that's why there's soaps in here. Look how much room there is in here. And I love the black and white check. These were in the, my makeup section on the bottom, but they're in a bag, so you can't tell how big they are. These are fabulous, and they're fabric. Isn't that fabulous? So I got this for my husband. This would make a great gift to buy this. And um, some the hand soaps and stuff, that'd make a great gift. For a man or a woman. Um, so, you know, I want to pick up a few more of these. And plus, you know what else this is great for? Is um, if you craft. I mean, 
when you need to bring your stuff around. This would be great for your pens, your pencils, markers, all of that. Because there's a lot of room and it also it sits up so you can just work out of the bag. I love this. So I'm going to pick up more of these when I go back. I just didn't know how great it was because they were in a plastic bag. But I saw a men's travel bag. I thought, oh, you know, my husband travels here and there for business. So this is fabulous. Okay. Oh, that was everything. But let me show you really quick what I got from Hobby Lobby um, on clearance. This is that 75% off clearance that they had since, like, end of January until recently. And there was just a few scraggler things, so I picked them up. For $1.24, regularly $5, these cheetah napkins. And this is a repurchase. I purchased some more of these at that same price. But I like to use stuff like this in my mixed media backgrounds, in my mixed media, and all of that. So, um, These were regularly $4.99. Got them for $1.24. Paper Studio uh, envelopes. And I'm going to be doing some junk journaling. And I'm going to be doing some Bridgerton-inspired junk journals. So, And I'm making a Bridgerton-inspired um, paper um, paper collection. So you guys, and so anyway, for that Bridgerton, um, inspired junk journal, I want to have the pink envelopes. I do all kinds of cool stuff with pink envelopes for my, for that junk journal. Um, I picked up some more white ones. This is cards. These are flat cards and envelopes. I thought these, see how they're kind of rounded type of flat cards. These can make some really cool looking tags. When I make a cool shaped tag, yeah, something different. And then white envelopes. Again, you can do cool stuff with the white envelopes. I bought one more pack of the uh, pink ones. It's like a lavender pink, which is really pretty. And those are total rich in the colors. Baby pink, lavender, robin's egg blue, or light blue, creams, all of that. Oh, and even deep purple. So I'm wearing deep purple because deep purple means kind of like royalty. Anyway. Then I just said robin's egg blue, so I picked up these. These are a repurchase. I had bought some Robin's Egg Blue, but they had a few more left. These were also a dollar. Let me see. Oh, these were 99 cents, regularly $3.99. These were $4.99, $1.24. These ones here where I said it was a really cool card. I'll see how they're rounded. They were $3.99, 99 cents. These kind of prices, and I bought a ton more of these envelopes and card bases. This, I just, these were just still there the last time I went on there, and it was the last bit of stuff, so I went plop, plop, right into my basket. Okay, you guys, that is it. Again, congratulations to uh, Joanne9766. Make sure um, in the description box below that you hit my Etsy shop, go to my Etsy shop, right hand corner says contacts, and then you can leave me your address so I can get your winnings out. Congratulations. Okay, you guys, let me know what is your favorite thing here? What are you guys looking for? And what do you think about the prices going up to $1.50? And what about like now, instead of just having five and under, it's like five, seven, 10, the hell? Like I said, I don't care about that that much. I care about my $1.25 price going up to $1.50. I am I'll just say it. I'm pissed. Okay. I'm pissed. Dollar Tree. Okay. And now you have me thinking and now I'm setting myself a budget. So now I'm not going to spend as much. Sorry. And I'm going to be picky about what I buy because some stuff's going to be cheaper at Walmart. Some's going to be cheaper at the grocery store. So that's it for this one. You guys, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye guys.